Bonnie Bougeau. Today the Health Center staff would like to talk to you about using Zoom. Zoom has become a platform that we've all had to adapt to during COVID-19 to do programming virtually. To use Zoom, you will need a computer, a tablet, or a smartphone that has access to a camera and a microphone. You can, however, get onto a Zoom meeting by using just a telephone. Using this method of just phoning in, you'll be able to hear what is being spoken about at the meetings, but you will not be able to see what is going on. This may not be ideal, but it will allow you to be able to join in on some of the programming that is happening. We will outline in this video the steps it will take to download this app and get Zoom going so that you can be able to enjoy some of the programming that is available in Whitefish River First Nation. Thank you. Hello everybody, I'm here to show you how to download Zoom, how to sign up for Zoom, and then how to join a Zoom meeting. So before I get started, I just want to let you know that actually having the uh, Zoom app or a Zoom um, account isn't necessary to join meetings. So there are some perks with doing those things. So like if you do download the app, whether it is on your computer or your um, smartphone, it, it allows you to navigate meetings a bit easier. Um, and if you have your own account, it allows you to host your own meetings as well as maybe put a profile picture on there, change your name, etc. But if you're only using Zoom to attend other people's meetings, like workshops, um, those aren't necessary. I'll just go through them super quickly, then I'll show you how to actually join meetings. So the first thing you need to do is kind of decide which um, device you're going to join Zoom on. So I'm using my laptop here, but you can also use a smart device, like a smartphone, um, an iPhone, an iPad, or you can also just use a regular old run-of-the-mill cell phone, like a landline, if you want. So the first thing I'm going to go into is actually downloading the Zoom app. So I'm just on Google here. I'll go to the Zoom website. So I'll just type Zoom in here and it brings me here and you want to click this first link and it takes you to the Zoom website. So to download Zoom, you're going to want to scroll all the way to the bottom and you'll see this little menu here, download. So it provides you with different links on um, depending on what where you want to download Zoom. So uh, you can download it as a browser extension. You could download it for your iPhone or iPad or your Android. Um, and then it'll bring you to a page where you could just follow the prompts and it'll download onto your device. So that's right there. Um, to sign up for Zoom, this is if you want to have an account so you can host your own meetings. You want to click this orange button up here, click it, and then it'll take you to a different page where it'll bring you through a few different prompts to finish finalizing your account. So those two things are pretty simple to do. Uh, the next thing I wanted to kind of go through is actually joining a Zoom meeting. So when you sign up, uh, when you're going to join a meeting, the host of the meeting, so like say uh, the host of a workshop, is going to send you a little, um, a little invitation that kind of looks something like this. So say like Kelsey McGregor is scheduling you for a meeting, inviting you to a meeting. It'll show you the topic, it'll show you the date and time, and it'll also give you different ways to actually join the meeting. So you could just do it the easy way and click join meeting and you click the link and it'll take you somewhere. There we go. It'll take you here because I have the app downloaded. It just asked me if it wants to open. Yes. And then poof, I'm in the meeting. Perfect. So let's get rid of that. And then next. The next one you could do is use this, these little numbers here. So the meeting ID and the passcode. So, if you just want to do that, you could just go back to the Zoom homepage and then you'll see this little link here, join a meeting. Click it and you'll be sent to this page. So, 
you see this, this meeting ID, this meeting ID number here. You can copy and place it here and then just click join and I'll do that same process I showed you as the link. It's a bit longer, but it does allow you to maybe go on different devices if you don't want to just use your computer. And the last way to join is down here, this dial by your location. So that's if you just want to use a regular old phone. So what you do is you click here, it'll take you to a page where it'll show you which phone number to dial to allow you to enter that meeting. So Zoom is a pretty easy thing to get started up and going. And yeah, thank you. Have a good day. Did you know that you could participate in a Zoom meeting without using the internet? You could use your home or mobile phone to call into a meeting for free. All you need is a toll-free number, the meeting ID, and the passcode to join a meeting. This will always be shared with you by email or on the Whitefish River First Nation Facebook page. Like Mike said at the beginning of this video, it is just like a phone call to your friend or family member. You will be able to hear what is happening, but you won't be able to see what's happening on the screen. I'm going to share my screen with you to show you what an email might look like. So you might get an email that looks something like this. So if you want to join by phone, find the phone number at the bottom. Type in the phone number. The first question they're going to ask is, what is the meeting ID? So you want to type in this meeting ID, followed by the pound sign, or the number sign, or the hashtag sign. The next question they're going to ask you for your personal ID. We haven't assigned personal IDs, so you could just hit pound sign to skip that question. The next question is, what is the passcode? So this is the passcode right here. Type that in press the pound sign, and then you're in the meeting. Hope this helps. So now we're gonna talk about just a couple of the basic functions of Zoom. And two of the main ones are the mute and unmute, as well as turning your video on and off. So if you are in full screen mode on your computer, you can go to this little microphone in the bottom. It says mute, I'm gonna hit it. You'll see there's a little red line that appears through the microphone as well as a red microphone beside my name. That's how I know if I'm muted. And then to unmute, I just click it again. And there you go, then everyone can hear you. The other thing for video, it's the same idea as the microphone. There's a red line through it so no one can see you. And then if you hit it, all of a sudden your webcam will turn on and everyone in the meeting will be able to see you. So another function that is really helpful in Zoom is this chat box. So if you go to the chat box, hit it, you'll see another window will come up and you can click and drag it out of the way so it's not in the center of your screen and you can still see everybody. And then all you have to do to send a message is come down to this box where it says type message here. Oops. Hit enter. And then all of a sudden you can see up here from me to everyone that everybody can see my message. So that is a way to use the chat function. So your toolbar may look a little bit different if you are not in full screen mode. So you'll see here that the chat box all of a sudden disappeared. So all I have to do is hit this more button and you'll see that there's a chat option there. Click it and the same chat box will show up along the side. So those are just a few basic functions in Zoom. So now I'm just going to share my screen. Now you can see the Zoom website and you'll notice up at top here, there is a resource tab. So you'll see that there are video tutorials. So you can learn how to join meetings, schedule. So if you do need more information, know that these resources are available to you on the Zoom website. They also have live trainings. So they have these different webinars that you can attend.
So you can register for them and it gives you more information there. So hopefully that is helpful for you and hopefully we'll be able to see more of you uh, joining in on the health center programming. So we'll see you soon. Stay safe.